Hi, hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to my channel, Soul Fever Christ. I thank you so much for joining me again this week. Stay tuned. Welcome back, welcome back. Before we begin, as usual, let's pray. Almighty God, we thank you, Lord, for all that you have done, all that you are doing, and all that you continue to do in our lives. Lord Jesus, I pray, dear God, that you will even bless everyone who watches this message in the name of Jesus. Bless their families, dear God. I pray, Almighty God, for your divine coverage, blood coverage of protection and preservation all over them and their family members in the name of Jesus. Almighty God, I pray, dear God, for your continued preservation and your continued provision for them in the name of Jesus. Almighty God, I pray that you leave a bless this message. Let it even be fruitful in the lives of the persons who listen to it in the name of Jesus. Father God, it all be said and done to your honor and your glory. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Before we get into this week's message, I just have some announcements for you. So, I recently started a Facebook page and it's Sophia for Christ at Christ for Sophia that is Sophia for Christ at Christ for Sophia and on that Facebook page I frequently post my insights from the Lord and share what the Lord has laid on my heart so, so the thing is with this YouTube channel is at this moment based on my schedule and all that's happening in my life I can't really commit to more than a video per week because it's not just a matter of the filming of the video the most tedious part is the editing. I'm not a professional video editor, so that takes me a whole lot of time. Like pretty much an uh, entire day. And as a freelance writer, I can't really commit to more than a video per week on this YouTube channel at this moment right. in time. So just head on over to Facebook and just search for me at Christ for Sophia and you'll see the page, like it, like it, like how you're going to like this video, okay? And then you'll be able to see more frequent updates from me. So the topic that the Lord impressed upon my heart this week is it's planting season. Do you have any seeds in the ground? It's planting season. Do you have any seeds in the ground? No. I know that within the body of Christ, this matter of seeds and so forth, it's sort of confusing. And we're going to get into, when I say seeds, what I'm referring to, um, especially in the context of this video. So I'm going to read from 1 Chronicles chapter 12, verse 32. And of the children of Issachar, which were men that had understanding of the times, to know what Israel ought to do, the heads of them were 200, and all their brethren were at their commandments. Well, I believe in this season, we need to be like the children of Issachar, the sons of Issachar, being able to discern the times. This is the season to then discern what it is that you need to be doing and you need to be planting those seeds because you're not going to reap a harvest unless you plant. So now we're going to get into just what the Bible says seeds are or what the seed is. Of course, we know the parable of the sower. The sower went forth to sow and some seeds fell on rocky soil, some fell among thorns and all of that. And then some fell on good ground and brought forth some 30, some 60, some 100 full so harvest. So the and thing is that I love with this part of the scripture is that Jesus didn't leave it up to human imagination. He went afterwards and his disciples were asking him for the interpretation of this parable. And he said the seed is the word of God. The seed that he's referring to that the sower was sowing was the word of God. And in this season, the word of God has been sent forth to not just all of us collectively, where we need to come into relationship with him. And of course, repent of our sins, be baptized in the name of Jesus, filled with the power of his Holy Spirit inside. And of course, go out and execute the Great Commission. There's also a divine mandate upon each and every life on this planet. There's a divine will of God for your life. There's a divine purpose to your life. So no matter what it looks like now, your life has purpose. There's something that you need to do in this earth that only you right? can do. So that's what the seed is. The seed is the word of God. Now, I know that in this era of the so-called modern church, we have this thing that has cropped up from the honestly the prosperity gospel which is we know is that of christ we're in persons are saying um so a seed but the seed that they're referring to is that the word of god like jesus outlined in the bible 
but the C that they're referring to is money and the idea is that oh if you give God a thousand say for example a thousand Jamaican if you give God a thousand he's going to give you ten thousand or you know a hundred thousand you know all of those things but what's our motivation in giving to the work of Christ it shouldn't be that we're giving because we want to receive it should be that we're giving because we care about the work of God and that's where our heart is so where's the seed I'm referring to the word of God however I don't want you to get me wrong in thinking that I'm saying that you shouldn't give to the church not saying that because you're yes. supporting the work of God in the earth and it's not just giving to your local church but also to other activities that help the needy, that help the disadvantaged in society, those who are disabled, things like that. So you should still give to the work of Christ in their life. So you have to follow the word of God, the instructions of God to of course know who you are in Christ Jesus and to have an understanding of who he would have you to become and how he would have you to serve in his kingdom because the harvest is plenteous but the laborers are few so our mission as the body of christ is to depopulate hell and populate heaven but of we course we each serve within the body of christ in different ways because you may think oh the only way i can serve that is if i'm one of the traditional church positions meaning a pastor bishop or elder um, minister evangelist or something like that and that's not true each of us once we come to the knowledge of jesus christ we're ambassadors for christ jesus so ambassadors as you know for a country they live all over the world and they represent the interests of that country so that's just the same thing for us we live all over the world we are in different spheres of society some of us may be busy some of us may be in the creative areas but the point is wherever we are we're supposed to present jesus christ we're supposed to be seeking through our lives to even bring others to christ and not just through our lives but also through our words through the way how we show love through the way in which we shine forth the glory of god we shine forth the grace and mercy of jesus christ that we bring others to salvation in him so the word of god is active the word of god has creative power and i'm going to read a scripture to you concerning that fact praise god so now we're going to read isaiah chapter 55 verses 8 to 11 for my thoughts are not your thoughts neither are your ways my ways said the lord for as the heavens are higher than the earth so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts for as the rain cometh down and the snow from heaven and return it not thither but water the earth and make it it bring forth and bud that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth it shall not return unto me void but it shall accomplish that which i please and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. Praise God. So we see that whenever the Lord speaks, it has an impact. Whenever the Lord decrees a thing, it has to come into existence. It may be that it's not coming into existence according to our schedule or according to our understanding of when it should come into existence and how it should come into existence. But the word of God is always fruitful. It always comes to pass. So, like I said, we're all here as ambassadors of the kingdom of heaven. However, we serve the kingdom of heaven in different ways. And not just different ways, but in unique ways. So you have a special position in the kingdom of heaven here on the earth. You have a special role that only you can fulfill. But the thing is, you need to understand what is the will of God concerning you. What is it that Jesus would have you to do here in the earth? At this time how can you not only do these things or fulfill the divine vision of god upon your life not just for your own self but in a way that you can serve others and that's where the seed comes in the seed is to the word of god so in this time i'm encouraging you to get deeper into your word get deeper in the presence of God. This is a perfect time to be laid up before the Lord, to just really sit in the presence of Jesus Christ. When we pray, we tend to pray in terms of what we need, in terms of the fruit. But then God says, ah, oh, no, I'm going to give you the seed. And he will show us these methods to get the things that we're requesting. But it will be in accordance with his word. That's why we 
need to be adhering to the word of God to make sure that when we sit in his presence that we're hearing clearly from him. So but yes, when we get deeper in Christ, you begin to be able to hear the Lord Jesus more clearly. But every revelation of the Lord is backed up by his word, scripture. So do not go off and then start being like, oh yeah, the Lord said for me to do what then there's no scriptural basis or even worse the thing that you believe that the Lord is leading you to do would actually be in contravention of the standards that he has laid out in his sure. word so that's why it's so important that we're leading into the word of God yes we can hear from the voice of his Holy Spirit but every revelation that the Lord gives through his Holy Spirit it will be backed up by scripture it will be backed up by his but word I want to point out here that it's important that in this season where you're planting that you're vigilant that you're guarding what you're planting against it being destroyed before it can spring up because if we refer back to the parable of the sower some of the seeds fell among thorns and the thorns as Jesus explained refers to the cares of life so many of us have to fight the whole uh, foreign issue because in this modern world we have so many things competing for our attention now is a perfect time all of those little weeds and stuff we need to pull out by the roots as a part by the spirit of god the other thing that i want you to be aware of is not just the cares of life but once your seeds have been planted and they're now coming into you know maturity the ceilings are coming out there's this scripture in songs of solomon that refers to the little foxes that spoil the vine we have to be careful of sin sin is a killer of the vision of God upon your life. It's a killer of every mission that the Lord would have you to undertake towards the fulfillment of this great vision of this overarching purpose that he has for your life. You know, we have the power of the Holy Spirit inside of us and we're being convicted of sin and whenever we're convicted, we're like, okay, Jesus, I'm sorry. How do I say repent? Meaning turn away from that way of life, that mindset and follow after the lord jesus christ i don't know what the lord has laid upon your heart that you need to do like i said before jesus has a unique purpose for each of us just as how our fingerprints are unique i know two sets of fingerprints are alike so it is concerning the vision or the purpose of jesus christ for each of our lives there's something that only you can do in the earth and he's calling you to it and he's waiting on you to step into your divine purpose to step into that divine vision and begin to complete the various missions so that the vision of god upon your life can come into existence but in all things you need to be following the instructions of jesus christ to you that's why i said it's so important that you can hear the lord jesus for yourself and every revelation that you get through his holy spirit it must be backed up by scripture you're going to have to sit in the presence of god for yourself and get his detailed blueprints for your life or the vision of God for your life. So we need to ensure that we're following the express instructions of Jesus Christ to each of us so that we can be fruitful with the seed that he has given us. Thank you so much for listening to this week's message. Please people be sure to like, like, you know the, the thumbs up button down below, press it and it will turn blue. Make the thumbs up button blue. So it's don't just like but please be sure to comment if you are so led by the Lord. I make sure that I'm also quite vigilant with responding to comments. Please also, if you've been watching, 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 and you have not subscribed, please also subscribe to this channel, Sofa for Christ, by clicking the subscribe button. Click also the notification bell so that you'll know just when I upload a new video to this channel. So until we meet again next week, may his blessings, peace, and wisdom be upon you all. Before I say bye-bye, make sure that you head over to my new Facebook page at Christ for Sophia and like as well. So bye-bye.